Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another incredible episode of Lagos Travel Guide. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you seven things you should never do at the Lagos International Airport. If you are planning on traveling to Lagos, you're coming to Lagos or leaving from Lagos, this video is for you. Like the information I'm gonna be sharing with you is my thoughts in general about the things that you should never do. If you guys have additional things that you would like to add to the list of no-go things, you know, at Lagos International Airport, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you agree with one of my points or you feel one of them stands out a lot, as always, leave a comment in the comment section below and let's have a dialogue. Hi guys, if it's your first time seeing my face, my name is Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian author, travel and lifestyle content creator. Author because I wrote the first ever high quality locally curated travel guide for Lagos, Nigeria. Yes, it's the first ever incredible guide for you for visiting Lagos, Nigeria. It's available globally on Amazon. So whether you're in the US, the UK, you are, South Africa, anywhere you can get it. And also I have local stockists in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm going to leave all the relevant links and information for where you can get your copy in the description box below. So let's get straight into this video. What are the seven things you should not do at the Lagos International Airport? That's the Mutala Mohammed International Airport. Number one, bribe anyone to do their job. Tipping someone for doing a great job, in my opinion, is fine. Bribing someone or feeling coerced into giving money before someone can do their job, for me, it's a no-no. And I think people should not bribe people because when they bribe people, they set a bad precedent that now sort of sets the tone that you know everyone else has to pay. It's like a, it's like a fee now, it's like a set fee. I don't think you should bribe because it sets a really bad tone for how people perceive and experience our airports. Like if you have, if you disagree with me or you have other opinions or other perspectives to share, feel free to comment below. Number two, engage with anyone that isn't an airport official. The truth is the airport is filled with people that are not necessarily workers, like official workers. Some of these people are there to, I guess, make their own money or do their own things. So I always feel like if someone is not wearing a badge that you can verify and see, do not engage with them. If they try and talk to you, like listen, but don't get in a conversation because engaging with people that are not officials of the airport is a sure way to potentially, you know, get scammed perhaps. So avoid interacting with people that are not officials of the airport. Not to say that the officials not try and you know, do something too, but I'm just saying one step before the next, just don't engage with people that are clearly not officials of the airport. And if they say they are, ask to see their ID and read their ID. Number three, do not arrive late. This is for those that are traveling out of Lagos. If there is any feedback that I've taken from the Trout Niger community, it's that your processing time, the time from which you arrive to the time at which you board your flight um, in Lagos, you know, can take between one to three, four hours, depending on what's going on. So sometimes you can't really predict how long, you know, immigration will take, customs will take, all these checks will take, right? So I always say, err on the side of caution and arrive early enough. And that could be, you know, for me, I'd say three to four hours before your flight is great. I know in the West, people go to the airport like an hour and a half before, two hours before. Do not try that in Lagos because you might just miss your flight. 
Number four, do not change money at the airport. And when I say do not change money at the airport, I mean do not change money outside with um, sort of like random people that are not a breather change inside the airport itself. Yes, this is specifically for most of you that are arriving in Lagos, Nigeria. The moment you step out of the airport building, you will probably encounter some people with bundles of Naira and cash trying to get you to change money. The reason why I'm saying you shouldn't change money with them is that most likely they will give you such favorable rates that you'll be tempted to say, ah, what, for my dollars, I'm going to get $6.50, when dollars is maybe five something, right? You might think, ah, this makes sense. Most likely you will find out that once you get home, that the money that they counted for you is not complete, right? So do not change money at Lagos International Airport. Number five, do not travel without a pen. The truth is when you're going, you're checking in and you have to fill your yellow departure cards or you're arriving, you might need a pen right? And bringing your own pen just means that you don't get into unnecessary conversations with random people, which I personally don't like speaking to random people because I just feel protected just if I have everything I need. No one's going to have unnecessary conversations with me that can lead somewhere or just lead to, I don't know, like I'm just very like protective of myself and also because of COVID, you don't want to be sharing people's like pens up and down and everything. So bring a pen with you. Number six, and I love this one, right? And it's mainly for you guys that are arriving in Lagos International Airport because you may be tempted. Do not queue jump at immigration, right? Well, I say do not queue jump at immigration. No. If you don't have like a special like entourage that came to pick you up, if you have a special person that's coming to pick you up that will navigate you through, you can do that too. But to just boldly by yourself decide you want to start queue jumping, you are setting yourself up for potential embarrassment. I have seen situations whereby people have jumped queues and the way Nigerians just, you know, like, start shouting, like embarrassing people because they queue jump, ha. Huh. Don't do it. <laughs> like, don't do it. Am I the only one that's experienced that? Like, feel like, queue jumping. People now speak up. Not back in the day, people would let you queue jump and let you go. Now, people will call you out and make a scene. So do not queue jump when you land at Lagos International Airport. Number seven, and my final point on things you should not do at Lagos International Airport is, I would say, use a public toilet. To be honest, I'm not really sure this point is fair in a way because it's not even, for me personally, it's not even about Lagos International Airport, it's about public toilets in general. Like I didn't try to avoid public toilets in general, right? And I guess also Lagos, you know, when I used to use, I used public toilets maybe like seven, eight years ago, back in the day and I don't know, my experience wasn't nice and maybe things I'm sure have improved since then. So I am not an advocate for public toilets. Nevertheless, this is another reason why I advocate for lounge um, access when you're at the airport in Lagos. Because for example, the Oasis Lounge, I know that there are people there that regularly clean the toilet regularly. And yeah, like, yeah, if, if you can avoid it, avoid it. But if you can get lounge access, you can use those, um, those toilets because or washrooms because you know that they are frequently upkeeping and cleaning them right like am i the only one that feels this way about public toilets in general not just at lagos airport but just in general like let me know in the comment section below so yes guys that is it my seven points on things you should not do at lagos international airport i really hope the video has been super useful for you guys i really hope that you guys can resonate with it if you guys have additional points of or have stories to share about the points that I've raised in terms of how they relate to you or how they relate to an experience that you've had, please, please, please feel free to share them in the comment section below. Thank you again, once again, for your love. If you make it, if you made it up to this point, leave a comment below and say, Sassy, I made it. Yes, I'd love to see you guys in the comment section. Thank you once again, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you.